Today, we're going over those romantic whiskeys that you can enjoy this Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, we're throwing the rose petals on the bed and having you lead to all of these whiskeys. I'm excited. Let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. Truly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video, checking out the channel. I think I should be wearing like a red shirt for this and maybe come out with like a rose in my mouth, but yeah, budget doesn't allow that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I would appreciate it even more if the people that watch these videos and aren't subscribed would subscribe because that would really help me out. Um, so I saw the analytics and like 60% of the people aren't subscribed that watch these videos. So that's crazy because it takes literally a couple of seconds for you just to hit that subscribe button. That's it. So I would appreciate it. If you're one of those people, we're not going to tell anybody. I promise. Just hit that subscribe button. What are we doing today? Well, we are going over some romantic, or what I think are romantic whiskeys um, that you can drink this Valentine's Day. And I almost said bourbons, but there are two that I don't think I can really classify as bourbon. But I didn't include any like Scotch or Irish whiskeys here. So maybe I should have, maybe I should have not. But either way, they aren't on here. So we're gonna go through this list. We're gonna get started. Um, but let me know is there any like romantic looking whiskeys or tasting whiskeys that you can think of? I thought of these six. Not just for the looks, but also the taste. So I'll tell you why. Let's get this list started. First one that I got to talk about is one that I think my wife could enjoy with me, right? Because it's a low proof. The bottle looks phenomenal. It just looks like a million bucks. And you pop this bad boy out. Boom. This is Habiki Harmony. I love the taste of this Japanese whiskey, by the way. But you pop this bottle out, mm, and it's kind of like you mean business. Yeah, you know, let's drink this. It's only 86 proof, and you can definitely enjoy this. It is, not only is it a great tasting whiskey, but it looks really nice too. Yeah, looks like a decanter. So uh, I would definitely recommend um, the Suntory Whiskey Hibiki Japanese Harmony because it's a good one. And if you're sleeping on these Japanese whiskeys, definitely start out with that one because that one's really good. Now, one that doesn't look that good because I will tell you, it, the, unless you're like a gothic type of person or emo or whatever the heck they call it, you're not going to think this bottle is really that romantic, right? I mean, yeah. Not really. So I've talked about this bottle before, and this is Von Payne Black. And the reason that I'm putting this on here is because my wife has actually tasted this, and she did like it. And we have, well, I have had it in the pool, and she's gotten some of it as well. So she actually does like this. So yeah, I'll pull, I'll pull this out. It's only 90 proof. I'll pull this out, give it to her with some ice cubes, in a nice summer day here in Tampa or a romantic evening. And I think she will enjoy that and we can enjoy it together. So that is why I'm putting it on this list. So Von Payne Black, yeah. You definitely need to get one of these if your wife likes cocktails, which mine does. So that's why I'm putting it on here. All right, so one that's like not a really nice looking bottle, cause I will say, I mean, it's a little short, stubby bottle, and that's, you know, this really doesn't matter, <laughs> right, on the how the bottle actually looks, but the juice inside is really good. Now, this is a higher proof, so my wife probably won't enjoy this one, but I'll enjoy it, and it has that, like, sweet dessert type of taste, and that is 
a Barrel product, and this is Barrel Vantage. And the reason this is so sweet is because it is a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys finished in Mizanora, French, and toasted American oak. That, to me, is very, like, fruit forward, well, not fruit, but very sweet forward, and it is a really freaking good pour. So I would recommend this one. Yeah, the bottle doesn't be, it, the bottle isn't like, oh, this is so romantic, but the juice inside is really nice and sweet, and that just reminds me of, like, chocolate-dipped strawberries. So, yeah. Next one, and this is because of that juice as well, because it is sweet, because it's like that chocolate dipped strawberries type of thing as well, is this Yellowstone limited edition from 2022. This is the Yellowstone 101 uh, proof, the limited edition from 2022. I tasted the 2023 and it was okay, but I really do like this 2022 one uh, better. But um, I would recommend this. This is really sweet as well. And this is Kentucky Straight Bourbon finished in Marsala Superiori Cass. I like saying that. I do. <laughs> and I like saying it like that, right? So I would definitely recommend this. This is a good one as well. You might not be able to find it because it is from 2022. Um, it's a dusty now, right? But even if you get the 2023 that came out last year, yeah, that's still a good one as well. But again, I like this 2022 a lot better. Now, before I get into the very special one, we'll talk about this one first because what I like about this is because Liquor Depot, so there's a Liquor Depot pick, but the pictures that they've been putting out have had roses all over it and it's like a Valentine's Day special. So it kind of puts that in the mood, you know, of like some chocolates, some roses, a nice little, um, uh, some petals everywhere, and a nice little card with a, you know, with like a lipstick kiss on it. That's what I imagine when I look at this. And that is because this is the Penelope Rose cask. Now this one, as you guessed it, is a Liquor Depot pick. It is the one that I just went to, uh, a drop that they had um, this past weekend. And uh, yeah, this is good. This is finished or cast finish. And this is 114 proof. So again, my wife won't be drinking it, but look at that bottle. Like it's a wine bottle, has a glass little cork. Um, and it's a rosé cask, so the finish on it is rosé wine cask, so you know that definitely speaks Valentine's Day, right? Lastly, and the reason I put this on here is because it's finished in Cabernet Sauvignon in Pfeiffer Pavit Cabernet Sauvignon Barrels and of the presentation. Man, you pull this bad boy out on Valentine's Day, and your significant other will be like, whoa, that is romantic. This is the Bardstown Bourbon Pfeiffer Pavit Reserve. Oh yeah, this almost fell on me, so I'll open it like this. Look at that. Look at that presentation. I mean, nothing speaks romantic than you just whipping this out right there and just being like, you know what? Let's drink this up. Well. This is a weird video, um, but I think it's still a good video. And, you know, it actually had me thinking, like, what are those romantic whiskeys um, that I would drink on Valentine's Day? So some I would drink with my wife, some she wouldn't like it because of the proof, but it just, the presentation just looks good. And some are just sweet, and they remind me of, like, those desserts that you would give your significant other for Valentine's Day. So what are those? You can, you can name one, you can name a few that you think are romantic whiskeys. Comment below, I know, I think it's hard, but uh, really think about it, comment below. Love hearing back from you guys. Please do me the favor, subscribe, because that will really, really help me out. Um, please check out the Patreon in the description because that helps me out tremendously as well. $3 a month, 
um, at the very least and you get put into a patreon so thank you so much for that and thank you so much for all the patrons already i appreciate you guys um lastly i want you to enjoy that whiskey so i wish you a very happy valentine's day cheers mm -hmm.